Hey you guys, what's up? It's Christine. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thanks for being here with me today. I didn't know where else to put my boba plushies, so they're just sitting right behind me so they'll join us for today's video today i will be doing a plan with me college video today is the day before my first day of fall semester so i'm really excited to show you guys how i plan before school starts especially during online classes this semester is going to look a lot different for me especially because it's going to be online due to the pandemic so i only need one more class before i'm able to apply to pharmacy school so i only need microbio so that's what i'm taking this semester i prepared a total list to help me get ready for my first day of school and I wrote it down in my planner. I wrote this on Saturday so I couldn't fit it all on the Saturday slot so I like it's like squished in with the Sunday. So um, this is my total list. It's all in pink here and the first thing in my total list is to update my planner slash calendar and my total list for my classes because I'm only taking one class. I only have one to-do list whereas if I was taking multiple classes I would have multiple um total lists for each class like assignments tests and all that stuff so before we dive into my total list i would be showing you guys my setup for where I will be taking my online classes and what materials I will need so this is my setup for where I will be doing my online classes. I have my laptop, my boba, of course, my planner. I have a bunch of erasable pens, highlighters, pencils, sharpies to label my notebooks and folders. I have this cute unicorn pen with a bunch of different colors. I think that's so cool and I will definitely be using this for my planner. I have my pencil case. It has more highlighters in it, glue stick, all that good stuff. Now I have my folder stickers for my planner. I have have my notebook, my scratch paper. So this is the setup for my online classes. So funny story, I don't use a desk when I study and that's because when I went to college at UCM, I always had a desk in my room and I had a drawer and my desk was literally used as a storage. Like I just put like all my papers and like whatever else I need on my desk and I always studied on my drawer. So for me, my best working space is my drawer even though I have a desk but yeah so that's why i don't have a desk i took my desk out of my room and i just used my drawer as my desk yeah <laughs> so that's my desk drawer tour i hope that was helpful in any way now i will be moving on to finishing my total list so the first thing my total list is to plan out my calendar first thing i would do is go to the email or syllabus that the professor sent to us and see all the dates for the exam and everything and to see when your zoom lecture or lab is scheduled at and to write that in your calendar so here's the email that she sent us and it says we're meeting tomorrow at 1 45 this is a required orientation and if we don't attend then the next waitlist student will get added into the class so make sure to attend your first day of class because they will drop you if you don't attend so just fyi so when you go onto canvas this is your dashboard it automatically brings you to your dashboard and if you want to see your courses you click on courses and then oh my course was published so there's my course general microbiome i literally just visited this course five minutes ago to see if she published it and she did it she just published it now so here's my canvas for microbiome and then i can just go to syllabus and see if she published the syllabus and there it is download oh she published it okay so that's good So for the syllabus, she didn't really specify like which dates like these quizzes and exams are. She only put like week 1 to 16. So in my planner, I just wrote each lecture quiz or lab quiz on like the first day of each week since she didn't really specify and then I'll be doing that for the rest of the month but this is an example of what I did. For tomorrow's first day of class, I put down that we're having a Zoom meeting at 1.45 and then we're also having a meeting on Wednesday and then I'm just going to put an arrow and then write it through so that's how i did my planner if you watch my back to school haul i got these cute like planner stickers from michael now i can put these stickers into my planner to help motivate myself to be productive in school so one of the stickers i found it literally says be productive right there so i think i'll put that into my planners hopefully this helps me be a little bit more productive so i guess i'll put that um where my lecture and lab quiz are like somewhere in the middle to give a bit more of the aesthetic vibe for me i feel like like if it's more aesthetic i'll be 
more motivated to do what I need to do. So look how cute it is. It says be productive and I put that in between my lecture and my lab quiz. There's also stickers in the back of my planner so I can always use these two to help plan out my day. I finished the first thing off of my total list so I can cross that out or check it. I checked it right here. I just checked it. The next thing I need to do is label my notebooks and folders. So I only have one class so I just have this one folder, this three subject five star notebook and then I have a few folders I can choose from. I'll choose this one because I think it's really cute. I will use this folder for my microbial class and then I also have my scratch paper. It's literally just a notebook with a bunch of blank paper and this is to use as scratch paper because I just like it better on plain white paper than like the line paper. So I have this bronze sharpie. I will be using this to label all my notebooks, folders, and my scratch paper notebook. So I labeled my notebook, folder, and scratch paper notebook. For my notebook, I labeled it microbial and then it's three subjects. So I really like three subjects because you can divide each section into a specific portion of your class. For my first section, I put notes on it. This is where I'm going to write all my notes for lecture. So this section will be dedicated to just lecture notes. This section, I will be using this for homework. So all my homework will go in here and my last section i will be using the section for all my labs lab notes so i labeled it lab so since i'm done labeling everything so i can check that off next is to organize my desk i think my desk is pretty organized i have all my pens pencils sharpies glue stick all my notebooks folders that i showed you guys so i can check that off next thing i have on my total list is to add or make a folder on my laptop Making a folder specifically for that one class will help me stay organized so I can put everything I need into that one folder like all my labs, PDF, all those notes that I'm going to be taking, I'll put it all into that one folder so it'll help me stay organized and whenever I need it I can just go into that folder and it'll be right there. So I'm just going to click on the file explorer and then I think there's a way to add a new folder. So I literally did not know how to make a new folder because I haven't created a new folder in a while. So I literally went on to dummies for how to create a new folder, but I'll be showing you guys how to create a new folder if you didn't know how to already do it. So I feel like you can just click anywhere that's blank. So here I am inside um, my PC and then I went to my downloads and then I just right click in a blank area. And then you just go to new and then folder and there you can make a new folder so i'll call it this microbio microbiology exclamation mark to be excited for school and then there's your new folder and then i'll just drag my first thing into my folder so that's my syllabus and it should be there so there's my syllabus inside my new microbiology folder and then if she gives us more worksheets and PDFs and stuff, I can add it into that microbiology folder. So it took me a while to make that folder, but I finally did it so I can cross that off my total list. The next thing I have on my total list is to order and browse textbooks. So she gave us the name of the textbook, so I copy and paste it into Amazon and it's like $197 and I ain't about that life. So for me, how I order textbooks is I'll wait until the first day of school and then someone will always ask, do we need a textbook? And then she'll let us know because she already emailed us and she said we don't need a lab manual, but for textbooks, I'm still not sure if we need it or not. So for me, I'm just going to wait until the first day of school to see how it goes. And then afterwards, I'll see if I want to buy a textbook. For me, I like hard copy more because you can like, it's easier for you to read because ebook, like I feel like I skim it. So I feel like hard copy, it makes me more focused on reading that specific page or chapter that I need to read for class. And an alternative way to get the textbook, for me, usually I'll just copy and paste it into Google and then I'll say like free PDF and then usually I'll find a free PDF that I can download, but make sure to not download it if it says, can it make changes to your laptop or computer? Because I accidentally downloaded it one time and I was stupid enough to say, give access to my laptop and I got a virus and the person hacked all my credit cards and everything at the change and it's just a whole big mess. So please, if it says give access to your laptop, say no because that's a virus. If it's free, it'll literally be free and you won't have to give it access to anything, you'll have it right away. So just keep in mind because I don't want you guys to get a virus or get hacked. The next thing on my total is to have pens, pencil, scratch paper ready. I have that. I have 
my pen, highlighter, scratch paper, notebook, everything I need for class. I have paper ready just in case because if I am able to catch up and write all the notes that I need to in my notebook, I would like to because for me, writing it down is easier for you to memorize rather than typing it all out on your Word document. Also, a lot of people have been using the iPad Pro. I think that's what it's called. I'm not sure how much it is. I'm pretty sure it's pretty expensive though, but if you already have paper and pen, that's really all you need to take notes. You don't need any like fancy technological thing. And you also have your Word document on your laptop, so there's that. I personally prefer paper and pen or my Word document. It depends on how fast your professor's talking. If they're talking super fast and they're not recording the lecture or they're not putting it up later, then I would recommend typing it all on your Word doc because you just type really fast. But if they're going to re-upload it onto Canvas or the pace is pretty smooth, I would recommend writing in paper and pen because it's easier to memorize that way. Like, trust me, it really works for me. It's been stuck in my brain longer. I don't really think you need an iPad Pro. That's just my thoughts on it. If you can get it, oh my gosh, yes, go for it. But I would just recommend paper and pen or Microsoft Word on your laptop. So there's that. And the last thing I have on my total list is to make sure you download your Zoom app and make sure it's working. On the laptop, you can just go to your Zoom app to make sure it's working because my professor recommended us to get the app because for lab exams, she needs to see us to make sure we're not cheating. So like it's proctored, so they need the app to be working and for you to have good Wi-Fi, especially during exams. So just download the Zoom app. I don't know if you guys can see. So I just downloaded the Zoom app. You just have to type in Zoom onto your type here to search and then you'll have your Zoom app open and then it'll just tell you if you have anything to update. And my professor was really nice. I asked her for help with how to update my Zoom and she was super helpful. So if you ever need help, feel free to go ask your professor for help. She was so nice. My professor was willing to Zoom with me to make sure my app was working. Also, if you need a fast working laptop, a lot of schools are letting students rent a tablet or a laptop. So there's always that as a resource if you're financially not able to afford a laptop. So I think that's honestly really cool. They're doing it at my community college. They're doing it at a lot of UCs. They're always there to help you. Feel free to reach out. It doesn't hurt to ask. Those are all the tips I had to get ready for college. I'll be doing a first day of school with me for online classes. So I hope you guys will be able to join me on that. I hope this help. This was my first video doing a planning with me and get ready with me for my first day of school for fall semester. I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys tomorrow for my first day of school.